We are going to see how to use a project coming from CAD software. In my case, uh, SolidWorks. So we are going to open a small project in SolidWorks and then uh, see how to import this project in Virtual Universe Pro. So here is my uh, small object. Uh, you have to, regarding SOLIDWORKS, you can import only assembly, not, uh, not part, not only a part. So if you have a part, please uh, create an assembly with this part before importing inside Virtual Universe Pro. So there is two ways for importing uh, in Virtual Universe Pro. The first is to export from SOLIDWORKS in 3D XML format. So this is this format and then you can directly import 3D XML file in a Virtual Universe Pro. Or the other way is to import directly on the same PC uh, the the assembly actually opened in uh, SOLIDWORKS. So inside Virtual Universe Pro to do this I have to select the world or a tree sprite which is going to be the target of the import then select add import CAD select your CAD software. So this is a, the two option. So I'm going to uh, use import from SOLIDWORKS. The scale can be automatically compute. So I have some uh, information if I want to uh, import the constraints from SOLIDWORKS, I'm going to select no. And now the import is processing. Depending of uh, the complexity of your project, this can be long. If you have uh, a large project, I recommend to reduce uh, in SOLIDWORKS uh, the uh, drawings details in it can be down in options document properties image quality and you can lower this to properties to reduce the amount of data regarding the geometries. Okay, so uh, the import is now down in Virtual Universe Pro. I'm going now to add some behaviors to make a move. So I select the 3D sprite to be move. Then I can use the motion assistant to create a move. A translation, simple move, depending on time. I can move directly the object to set the max position. I can set a time for making the move in one way and in the other way. I can make a try directly. So this is a basic move with uh, 
one information for driving the move, I can select two commands. In that case, I can have an information to make the move in one way and another information to make the move in the other way. Okay. In this assistant, I can also create sensors like this. I can define the range for the sensor. Let's create a second one. And I can also test this with the state of the sensor. OK, fine. I can leave the assistant. And as you can see, I've created some behaviors as child of this 2D sprite. I can test the simulation. I can see the value of the behaviors. So this sensor is true, of course. I can change the state of the behaviors simply by double clicking on these behaviors. So this is the behavior for making the object move from the minimum to the maximum. I reset it and try the other one. And as we can see, the sensors are working. Now we are going to uh, add uh, some functionalities to our example. Uh, I want to create a small program that is going to make the pusher uh, go out when I click on this part of um, this object and then uh, the pusher will return when I will stop clicking. Uh, so for doing this, for um, detecting, detecting the, the click on this uh, part, I'm going to add a behavior. So add behavior. I'm going to select uh, the type of this behavior. Test if clicked. OK, I can uh, rename this behavior to have a, a nice name. Click by example. Now uh, I'm going to create a small program with a controller. I'm going to add a program in this controller. I can select in different languages, letter. And then I can create a small program. So I'm going to activate the behavior, move to max. If clicked. And I'm going, so going to be a set coil, OK? And uh, I'm going to, no, sorry, this is a normal coil, OK? And I'm going to activate the move to mean. If not, Clicked. OK, so let's try this. I can click on Run. And I also have a dynamic display on here. So if I click, OK, it works. Now I'm going to use the player to increase the rendering quality. So I'm going to stop the simulation. I'm going to show you that uh, I can 
optimize my model. This is also an important thing, especially if you have a, a large project. So to do this, I'm going to select the parent object. I have several optimization options. Decimate is to be used to reduce directly the geometries by decimating the triangles. Compact is also a nice option. It's going to compact the materials, which is uh, increasing strongly as the rendering speed. I'm going to select this. Now I'm going to generate a player view for screen. OK, I'm going to select a nice layout. In this player view, I can also select nice materials. I have to click on this. I can also select the quality. I'm going to select the top quality. And then I can simply select material here and apply material to object like this. OK, when finished, I can click again on this. And it's down. I forgot a small piece on here. Let's select another material. OK. From here, I can run the simulation from Virtual Universe Pro. and use it in the player. So if I click on this object, okay, it works.